Alright, let's figure out how to use Kindle Comic Converter on macOS. So first off, we've just got to use the Kindle Comic Converter website. Just scroll down to the downloads page, and then open up the download link. There's two different Mac versions here. You see there's an ARM version and i386 version for macOS. Uh, remember, you need the ARM version if you have a recent Mac with Apple Silicon M1 chip or later, macOS 14 Sonoma or later. And you need the i386 version if you have an Intel chip that's older with macOS 12 Monterey or later. Uh, these are pretty good requirements, but in case you have a really old Mac that's not supported, you'll have to use Open Core Legacy Patcher. Uh, yeah, Open Core Legacy Patcher, just go to the supported models. If you look through the support models, you'll it looks pretty simple to install macOS Monterey on, on things as old as Macs from 2012 and later. So if you have a 2012 or later, you can totally use this and get macOS Monterey on it, which is still supported by Apple today. Uh, but if you want to get a newer model, then you can always just get a M1 and M2 Mac Mini from Costco, brand new, $4.99, pretty cheap. I really like this kind of computer since it runs completely silent, and it's so small you can just put it on top of your existing PC desktop. It doesn't really take up much space. But yeah, let's go ahead and download it. So download the ARM version and the i386 version. I've already pre-downloaded it. So let's just open it up. You just drag it into the Applications folder. Uh, once you do that, then you just open it up. It'll give you an error message, so you need to right-click open in order to get past the error message. And boom. Now it'll ask you to install Kindle Gen. So you click it. It'll say to install Kindle Previewer. So yeah, I've already downloaded Kindle Previewer, so I'll run it. Continue, continue, agree, install, 